Magandang araw, Pilipinas! Welcome to TikTok with Aster Amoyo. Sa araw na ito, mga kaibigan, ay sina naman po special na edisyon ang inyong matutunghayan dahil makakapanayam po natin for the very first time ang controversial na aktor, Mr. Baron Geisler and his lovely wife, Jamie Evangelista. Hello! Welcome Hi. to TikTok! TikTok! <laughs> Yeah. Uh, magandang araw po sa inyo, Dita Aster. Thank you for inviting us over here. It's my um, honor. It's such a beautiful place, no? Richie's Kitchen. Richie's yeah, Kitchen. Ang, ang sarap ng food. So, uh, thank you so much, uh, Diva. Uh, Alam mo, it's nice to, ano, ang sarap ng pakiramdam kasi like, um, I think this is your first uh, interview as a couple for the year 2021. Yes, that's yeah. right. Oh, napakapalag ko naman, di ba? <laughs> and uh, of course, Jamie, it's nice to meet you. This is my first time makilala kita. Ay, ito ang tagal na. <laughs> ito yung anak kong ano, suwail. <laughs> Pero alam ko, mabait na siya ngayon. Mabait naman talaga yeah. ito eh. Mabait ito. <laughs> oh, alam ko yan. Kahit ganyan niya. <laughs> anyway, kumusta na kayong dalawa? We're okay. Lagi nag-aaway, laging, uh, <laughs> laging samok sa isa't isa. Hindi, biro lang. I'm just uh, really grateful that I found a really good partner in life. Um, she's, uh, I could say, my soulmate and uh, um, she's my everything. Okay, um, since uh, napapag-usapan na rin lang natin, kayo as a couple, mamaya ko nababalikan yung gusto ko itanong sa'yo, paano kayo nagkakilala ng dalawa? Hmm. Ano, Please answer, ladies. Okay. Um, Baron went to Cebu for his treatment, for his addiction. So I also work as a clinical psychologist. He was not my patient or client, but our paths cross in the facility. Yeah, just to be clear, kasi yeah. ang daming nagsilabasa na parang, parang ako si Joker and si Harley Quinn. Alam mo yan, but uh, ang nangyari, I was already... Uh, Graduate. Um, graduating uh, a week before I graduated. That's the time I, I met Jamie. Yes. And um, in our facility, uh, may mga uh, ano kami, parang uh, workout sessions and she, activities. activities and she was part of it. And mm. while we were doing um, yes. what do you call that? The CrossFit. Mm. You know, medyo niloloko-loko ko siya. Sabi ko. And I was calling her Jasmine. Why? Not Jamie. Ano yung ano ng Jasmine? Bakit J- Jasmine? Wala, kasi kanya? medyo may pagka-bad boy pa ako. No? May medyo uh, nagpapapansin ako, nagpapapansin ako. And then, nung nakita ko siyang medyo nag-bend over, sabi ko, Uy, pwede. Hindi, biro na. Hindi, so nung nakita ko siyang nag-exercise, sabi ko, hmm, uh, ang saya. And um, unang-una, um, napakasarap niyang uh, kausap. Napaka-interesting, may sense, may sense uh-huh. interesting yung mga conversations namin. And also, we had uh, similar advocacies when it comes to mental health. So, may mga, ano kami, what's it, what do you call that? Com- something uh, symposium. Yeah, we did uh, a lot of symposiums around Cebu. We would go to different provinces. Uh, so, doon din kami nagkakilala. Ano nang paparamdam na si Baron sa'yo, what was your reaction like? Sungit na. Normal. Um, I did not treat him as a celebrity, although he told me na celebrity siya. Uy, wala naman ako sinang, hey, no. I'm Baron Geisler. <laughs> hindi, hindi. No. Pero at that time, kilala mo na na siya si Baron Geisler. Yeah, Isang I know. Isang celebrity. Yes, Uh-oh. I'm aware. Uh-oh. But, ano siya, I did not, iba naman yung, ano niya, yung behavior niya. Hindi naman siya yung parang uh, special treatment uh-huh. or hindi siya mayabang. So, I wanted to know the real him. So, yeah. iyo, so, accidente lang talaga, or so, tadhana talaga, no? Accidente yung pagkakakilala yung dalawa. To make it short, um, for me, she's uh, God my sent. God's bed. Um, God sent. For me, she's my God's best. Hmm. Uh, anong naging dahilan, Jamie, para ma-call ka for, you know, for Baron? Lalo, lalo na, I mean, he's always uh, being pictured as a bad guy. Yes. Oo. So, papa, bakit ka in love kay Baron? Um, <laughs> good. Put in another question. No, I know, sir. He's very different from what people know about him. And, I know. What was that? Yes. And, I know, I nakita ko yung sincerity niya sa person. Hotel. Yeah. So, yun ang, uh, inaka-attract sa yun. Okay. Anong attraction mo kay, ano, kay Jamie? Bakit in love ka sa, sa kanya kaagad? <laughs> 
Um, I'm a sapiosexual kind of guy. So what is that? Sapiosexual meaning um, um, na to turn on ako sa katalinuhan ng isang tao sa isip ng tao mm-hmm. sa intellect. So um, uh, yun nga, we had really good conversations and um, eventually we just hit it off and um, instantly I I felt you know I just tinama uh, tinama na ako ni ng ng Aaron ni Cupido <laughs> and I said she's the one she's the one um, so in your mind na sense mo na kaagad na siya yung hinahanap mo yeah una una she understands me she understands my sickness and I understand also uh, what she has uh, gone through in her life you know uh, me and Jamie we are Yeah, an unconventional family. She has two kids. The previous relationship. The previous relationship. And I have three kids, the man, all in all. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and then we have Tali, Talitha Kumi, mm-hmm. who's turning one on the 20th. Mm-hmm. So, bali uh, apat ka na? Uh, kasama na po si Tali. Sa, sa tatlo. Sa tatlo. Ah, okay. Oh. Tatlo ka na rin. Yeah, oh. tatlo ka na rin. Yeah. Have you met uh, his children? Mm-hmm. Namit na niya. Namit niya po. Yung isa. Isa. Uh-huh. Ay, yung isa lang. Uh-huh. Oo, hiwalik, hiwalik, hiwalik kasi, di ba? Masa ka na ka ng nanay. May bang casting eh. Uh-huh. May bang casting, di ba? Jamie, um, nung maging kayo, ni Baron, syempre, I, I think it was also a big challenge on your part, di ba? Especially yung pinagmula niya, yung uh-huh. background niya. So, ano ang ginawa mo? para Kasi parang napaka-positive mong influence para kay Baron eh. So, I hope so. I, 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 I think, no, kasama na rin yung, syempre, yung malaking challenge ito sa part mo, being his wife, di ba? So, anong mga binago mo sa kanya? Um, good thing na lang na I like challenge. <laughs> Kidding aside, but um, yung, I think it helped also that I understand what he's going through. And then, I always put in my head na, I cannot change him. Kung gusto niyang magbago, it's up to him. Correct. But he has Correct. to do the work. I'm just here to support. Wow. Yes. Or she'll leave me. <laughs> Or my ultimatum. Oh. Kaya, tao-tao. <laughs> may ganun-ganun kayong usapan. Yeah. Kasi you really oh. have, um, I think naman kasi, some people like, um, medyo na spoiled or feel entitled. No? Mm. They don't understand really the consequences of things. That's what we also talk about when it comes to parenting. So there, I don't always rescue him or enable when it's um, pero pag it's good things naman, of course, I'm very supportive. Ikaw, Baron, anong mga nabago sa'yo nung dumating sa buhay mo si Jamie? Wala pa si Tali, ha? Uh, I'm more... Grateful. Um, more grateful and um, nawala ng <clears throat> self-entitlement gaya na sinabi ni Jamie and she taught me that um, we are all equal uh, no matter uh, uh, how rich or uh, how unfortunate you are we are all the same we feel the same And we don't think the same, but um, so um, nakaroon na ako ng understanding on what life is all about, the reality of life. Because I was living in a fantasy world, I was living in in my own uh, delusional uh, fantasies. Your so, own illusions <laughs> and yes. illusions as well. Uh, so she yung Nag-sample-sample sa mukha ko na parang, hey, that's not life. Uh, Siyempre, I started at a very young age, 12 years old. So, um, nung nag-stay ako sa Cebu, uh, by choice na umiwas muna ako sa industriya, uh, sinubukan ko kung paano mamuhay uh, ng, simple. ng totoo, mm-hmm. ng hindi ako celebrity. Although nariyan pa rin na nakikilala po ako, pero... Um, yung bang hindi ko na kailangan mag-effort or uh, mag-perform or mag-people please sa ibang tao just to make them happy. But of course, I'm a very jolly human being. I have love to share. 
So yeah. it's very natural when it comes you know, like to just um, embracing these people. At nabago rin kayo nung dumating sa buhay niyo si Tali. Yes. <laughs> definitely, diba? definitely. Actually, nabago na rin ako before Tali because she already, we already had two kids. And I, I had to deal with that. Na parang, it was very stressful for me because I was also a kid. I was her ch- third child. Diba? But uh, eventually, I had to man up. I had to uh, think about how and how to earn money. Uh, not only just using uh, the showbiz industry media. Um, so along the way, I got to meet um, uh, people, really good people, real friends who taught me and Jamie uh, yes, business. And uh, we have two businesses now. Wow. Uh, mm-hmm. Can you share what these are? First, it's uh, we have a clothing company. Oh, um, it's shirts. Yeah, it's, it's okay. called Bungo Clothing okay. Clothing okay. Company. Okay. Um, and it's uh, barbershop. Uh, the barbershop. Uh, kumalas na muna ako sa barbershop. <clears throat> um, but um, yun yun na muna. Uh, Baron, uh, mukhang settled ka na in Cebu. Then what made made you decide na mag showbiz ka ba? Um, para may extra panggatas para kita. <laughs> <laughs> Demay ko talaga trabaho. Demay ko. Once an actor is always an actor. I agree it's a with gift you. from yes. God, God given talent, God given gift. So, uh, might as well use it um, and not waste it. Um, but this time, um, God willing, you know, be wiser. By God's grace, I yeah. get to use it. Uh, to influence people for the good, in, for the good. and um, also for my babies, my Future. kids, to to be proud of me. Parang oh, that's dado. Jamie, yeah, si si Tali is already your third child. Yes. Yung dalawang elder uh, children, uh, boy and girl. Boys. Parin two boys. boys. Ah, two boys. Wow. Tapos yeah. uh, girl naman si Jamie. Ikaw, uh, yung first two mo. Uh, before your Itali. Uh, the first one, you know, Tita. Uh, the second uh, is from Angeles naman. Okay. Girls. Two uh, girls. Two girls, yes. Two girls. Ang baliktad. Oo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, girl naman, si Itali. Two, Itali, two boys. Yes. Mentally, two girls mentally, yes. yes. The good thing na uh, about the boys, they you know they're very bright. Uh, they study in a very good school in Cebu. Um, na papagod niya ako dun sa seven year old namin dahil um, gusto ko matuto siya mag bisaya. Puro siya. Even tuli ang mga bata, oh, madali, madali matuto. Ano, mm, ano, English ano, kasi siya eh. English masyado yung ano. But uh, our 15-year-old naman knows how to speak. Bisaya. And uh-huh. you know, I'm very proud of Kinito. His name is uh, Joaquin. Um, but uh, eh, he's uh, very mature for his age. Uh, he's feeling ko nga na insiguro dahil mas mature siya. Mag-isip. 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 No, dahil uh, may mga times na siya pagigising uh, dun sa kapatid niyang seven-year-old na si Javi na, hey, it's time to go to school. Wake up. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> sa, mas responsable. Mas, oh, mas responsable. Yun, yun, mas responsable siya. Yeah. Okay. Baron, uh, balikan lang natin yung uh, when you were a uh, child actor, you started so young, 12 years old. Diba? So, yun ang alam ng publiko. Nasubaybayan ng publiko ang pag mo as an actor. Ang mga pinagdaanan mo. So, uh, going through the process, how were you able to deal with all of this? Lalo pat napakarami. Eh, actually, napakaraming kontroversi ang pinagdaanan mo. Pero, you went through it. So, yes. Ano, uh, oh. um, yes, I I was a very, very lost soul. Um, um, back in the day, I thought that um, partying and uh, doing the bad stuff is the way of life in the industry or even off cam. And of course, it's also a, it's also a cultural thing wherein if you drink, you're macho. Yeah, yun ang Filipino Pinoy, di ba? Lahat tayo may inom, eh. initiation natin yan into manhood. 
So I started drinking at a very young age. How um, you? I started at 12. Wow. Um, and then I, I continued and I uh, became an alcoholic at age um, 16, 14, 15, and then 16 every day. Na progress na. Nag progress na siya. So, yun, um, I just. <clears throat> I just got tired of the stigma. So what I did was in 2016, me and my friends uh, from UP um, decided to make a documentary about um, about how how the masses um, can be easily swayed by social media fake news and um, um, everybody believed. All the fights, all the, um, all the, well, sorry sa mga taga-media na mga niloko namin ni Nakiko Matos. Uh, all, lahat po yun staged. Um, dahil sa nagalit ako sa stigma na binigay sa akin, well, create ko rin naman yun. So, ang, ang nangyari, binalik ko sa kanila, so nagbaliw-baliwan ako. And then, uh, lumaban kami sa URCC ni Kiko. Yun ang totoo. Yun yung totoo. Yung mga life, it's just a stage. Life imitates oh. art. Oh. Uh, and then, for me, nung time na yun, it was, siyempre, I was hanging out with um, uh, really intellectual people. And as I said earlier, I'm very sapiosexual, so I got so interested with, you know, people from um, fine arts, from... Um, sa lahat ng, ano, ng arts, um, hanggang sa banda. Um, so, ang ginawa namin yung film and nilabas po namin. Yung time na yun, galit pa ako sa gobyerno dahil rebelde, kamamatay lang ng nanay ko, feeling ko cool ako na artist, feeling ko may, once na may statement ka, may, may boses ka, parang yun na ang tama, eh, hindi naman pala, parang teka muna, uh, baka na sobrang lang kayo ng alak at uh, kung ano pang hinihitit nyo dyan, di ba? Um, yun, pero may konting pagka-proud daw dun sa film namin or documentary film dahil kami nakapag-premiere uh, uh, sa Amsterdam uh, for the F... Uh, uh, F Ang kalimutan ko yan. Basta sa Amsterdam kami nag-premiere. It's an international film festival. It's international film festival. And noong time na yun, uh, dahil sa pinapoint out nga namin na sobrang um, mabilis maniwala ng mga masses, uh, hindi pa rin po nila makuha. Ang kagandahan lang po, yung, yung produkto namin ay pinalabas po namin sa Ateneo. Uh, Nag-stay siya for two weeks. At sa iba't ibang mga kolehiyo. Uh, sa UP, ilang beses na rin yan pinalabas. Uh, mm-hmm. Sa Sinimalaya, nagustuhan din nila. Anong title nito? Uh, who directed it? Uh, uh, Beast Mode. A special, uh, a, uh, Beast Mode. Uh, social Experiment. A social mode, experiment. Okay. Opo. And then eventually, I wrote a book na Beast Mode na ang author, ako yung author and um, ang nag-publicize po nito, ang publisher po namin ay si, ang ABS-CBN publisher okay. si Mr. Er- Ernie Lopez. Mr. Ernie. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So maraming taong hindi na alam, al- al- kala siguro, y- yun ang pinatry ko for a very long time, na sige, akala ng mga tao, boy who cried wolf, mm-hmm. bad boy, mm-hmm. sige, ibigay ko na lang sa kanila, iniisip nila, tanga ako, sige, okay lang, yan ang isipin ninyo. Which was very, very wrong. Nag-backfire sa akin yun. Na, uh, siguro naman, di ba? Si Jamie, hindi niya naman ako papakasalan o papatulan kung uh, wala naman akong sense ka usap. So, uh, nung nagkapisa ko sa sarili ko, uh, na-rehabilitate ako, minahal ko yung sarili ko, doon ko sinabi na, why do I have to think of other people's um perception of me or how I don't I don't really need to care about their judgment because at the end of the day I'm I'm my only best friend and God is my best friend and you know my wife and you know na hindi rin naman sila magpapakain sa akin okay. so dun rin ako um, uh, namulat na oy teka lang muna pare 
mag-ayos ka na. Uh, was there a time na, bukod sa pagiging alcoholic mo before, was there a time you tried drugs? Of course. How old were you then? Hmm. Well. Oh my gosh, yeah. that early? Yeah. So, and then 14, I tried the hardcore drugs so, so oh. 14. And then, nagsapo ko, then nagkulits kami. And then I went back when I was... Kulits, this is with uh, Mark Solis at saka si Jan Lloyd Cruz. Yeah, I was doing ASAP, sumasayo ako dun. Gising na gising ako. Makanta ka rin eh. Makanta ka rin eh, di ba? Oh. Oh. Pero ang nagtatak, alam ko nagsimula ka sa Ang TV. This is an, a youth-oriented program dati ng ABS-CBN. Kung saan karamihan ng mga talents ng ABS-CBN nagmula. Of course, uh, nagtatak ka rin ng gusto dun sa tabing ilog. TV series, di ba? Naging girlfriend mo pa dun si Jody Santa Maria. Apo, apo. So, after Jody ba? Sorry, uh, Jamie, no, it's okay. ha? Last naman ang Jody. Hindi, sige rin. After, after jo- Jody. Alam niyo yung sexy siya. <laughs> Tams yan. Tambok na sexy. Ikaw na yung ano eh. Ikaw yung ano eh. The one eh. So, after after Jody, was there other uh, personalities or celebrities na uh, na-link sa'yo? Hmm. Tama ba si Matet de Leon? Ah, uh, yeah. Si oh. Matet, si hmm. Matet. Dion, but they're all, they all no, no, have no, their no, partners. No, it's okay, but this is so, already the past. Because uh, after all, siguro naman, when you bump into each other, you're still friends, yeah. di ba? After all, this is a small industry. There are a lot of commercial models pa ng, ng uh, toothpaste. Uh-huh. Okay. There are a lot of models, a lot of... Kasi ni mga, Enjoy that time, eh. Ba, you know, mga bagong... Sibol. Uh, Sibol uh-huh. na guest namin sa sa tabing ilog. Alam mo, mag kami, siyempre, mga kalakuan days namin. Saka mga bata. Oh. Kami ni na Paolo Contis. Magano kami. Uh, uh, pustahan. No? Sino-sino. Sino makakakuha mm-hmm. dyan. Mm-hmm. Ang ending, ako parang na nanalo eh. Ako pinaka-cute dun eh. Yeah. <laughs> Pisoy eh. Pisoy eh. Hindi naman. Mag- magaling lang bumuka. <laughs> Oh. Oh, so so yun Cute yun kasi isa yun sa mga pinagdaanan mo. Now, of course uh, the pe- people watching us now gusto ko rin sila ma-inspire at matuto sa mga pinagdaanan mo. 'Di ba? Yeah. Oh. I just want to add lang that I tried um like changing for for the people. It backfired, it didn't work. I tried changing for the people I love. It did not work. I tried to change to impress people and I tried to lie about it because it was false humility that I was giving to them and showing to them I was still acting. And it's very tiring. Uh, But now, once you're... I'm really working on authenticity and having that power. And uh, once you have that, I think people around you will feel it. And you'll and will take a, you seriously. Also. Not yes. only take you seriously, they will, um, they will feel that uh, uh, energy that you have. Do you consider yourself a changed man? Every day when I change my boxer into mm, boxer, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> changed man, it's like for me, it's 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 really a hard question. If if I were drunk, siguro I'd really say something nasty, like, um, but. Only the people around me could say that I'm a changed man, Tita, to tell you honestly. I, ako isa ako sa nagsasabi na. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I, it's really hard to promise people to, to say that you're changed because you first of all, if you're a changed man, you shouldn't brag about it. You shouldn't say any, anything. You shouldn't even talk about it. Uh, you should just do it and, and show, it. show it. So, um, uh, there. Jamie, if there is one, you know, thing na uh, ikinapaproud mo kay Baron bilang husband mo. Ano yun? As a husband, yes, I am very proud of him because he always encourages me. So it's not all me lang na ako ang nag- nagpupush siya. Yeah, nagpupush siya kanya. It works both ways. And um, we're working on our marriage and how to be better parents and better people. So, siya... You just don't know it, pero grabe siya mag-encourage sa amin lahat. Palagay ko, Baron, parang ngayon mo palang nai-enjoy yung pagiging tatay mo mm. sa paglabas ni Tali. Mm. Parang hindi mo masyadong yeah. ibuhos ng 
ang pagiging father mo doon sa dalawang mga naunang anak. Opo. Am ngayon, I right? Opo. Ngayon ko lang din po naintindihan kung para saan ang buhay o kung paano mabuhay. So, hindi pala ganun kadali. And um, that's why I am doing these things in order to leave a really, really good legacy that my uh, for my children, for them to be proud of me and Jamie. Oh. That's why I always tell them, once you become a parent, you become selfless. That's so, right. You'll do everything. It's always, I want this, I want that. Ganon siya. And then eventually, yeah. yeah, you learn. And then, gusto ko din ang experience niya, being hands-on with Tali. So, I don't really... Tell him now, hey, don't do this, don't do that. Gusto ko niya, ma experience na talaga. Overall, ano nga na bago kay Byron? Ano na bago sa akin? Siguro ano, um, mas responsible, responsibility. Mas naging responsible ako ngayon. Uh, before, I used to, like, yung mga ex ko, sila mag-handle ng uh, tickets or mga, mga bagay-bagay na Kung maga, parang mga naging yaya ko yung mga naging ex-girlfriend ko. <laughs> oh, but this time, Jamie is teaching me to be independent. So I think I'm becoming more independent. Medyo na spoiled ka before. Yes. So I think I'm, uh, yun yung pinaka... Uh, I always ba? remind him that we're partners, so dapat give and take, and then do this, do that. Hindi lang puro ako lahat. Mm-hmm. How would so, you describe uh, Barrett as a husband and a father? Um, he's very responsible now. Now, huh? Yeah. Char! Sure. Yeah. Char! Sure. Yes, okay. and I really appreciate it na yung relationship niya with my kids are good and sa people around us. And then you can see naman that he's genuine. Uh, makikita mo or you will feel na if ang person like ano lang, it's just faking it or faking being good. Sa kanya, it's, I know, it's not perfect but I Nobody still, uh, we still fight. Sometimes I want to punch him. Do. Pero, so, and yes. she does. Kasi <laughs> pa rin naman ang uh, yes. instances na nag-argue pa rin kayo. Yes, of course. It's uh-huh. always part of the process. Kasi I'm also not perfect. Uh-huh. May mga ano din ako, character defects. Sige, so. pagyaw-yaw. How do you manage your anger? Let's say, yung anger management. Uh, is he good now? Uh, di ba? Kasi ano to, short-tempered eh. Yes. I think oh. it comes with... Um, his vices before sa pagka-alcoholic and uh, maybe addictions. Now, what I notice is he's more calm. And for me lang, I think he's um, working his program seriously. And yung he does prayer and meditation, that really helps him with his anger. Because That's before, so pag nagagaway kami, like, it's so easy for him to walk out lang. Now, it's, at least he can, he also understands me pag ako yung galit. So he, he tends can, to adjust, yes. We don't, don't, don't clash na, yes. You don't clash. Uh, so he's also learning. If there are other things that you wanted to share with our viewers, ano ang mga ito? Uh, Jamie, go ahead. Here? Yes, your camera um, is here. Okay. For the viewers, I just want um, you to know that the disease of addiction is a family disease. And it's not like, ano lang, any bisho. It, it's like having diabetes that needs treatment, so humanely. So that's why um, don't stigmatize, don't judge. Just um, understand people more, be more kind. Oh, that's good. That's good. Ikaw naman. Go ahead, go ahead. I love it. Right? 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 Yeah, uh, never turn. Never see. Ikaw, share sa ating mga viewers, lalo na yung pinagdaanan mo, yung mga natutunan mo, mga binago mo sa buhay mo, na syempre dapat hindi nila tularan. So easy acceptance. You gotta accept who you are, situations, the things that you cannot change, and try to process that. I do. It yeah. worked for me. Ask for help. Ask for help. You're not alone. You can never do it alone. Find good friends. Find real friends. And try to stay away from negative people, toxic people. 
also read books uh, and just be kind and share the love. It's all, every day. Just one simple phone call to a friend and ask him or her how their day went is all, is all, is already service work. You know what I mean? That really means or a lot. start with the family. But yeah, with family, with anger naman, think before you react. And um, it'll become a habit. And slowly, slowly, your behavior will change. And it will be a lifestyle. And eventually, you'll be happy. Happier. Bago ano, bago kayo magbigay ng uh, your final message, lalo na sa inyong mga anak, um, ano ang uh, isang bagay na magpapaiyak sa isang bagong guys mo? Being away from uh, us. Being away from family. And, well, sabihin na lang natin nung lockdown, three months akong nahiwalay sa pamilya. Um, five months pa lang si Tali nun. Nasaan ka nun? Nasa condo ko sa Quezon City. And... Uh, Hindi ko na kinakaya. So, I was isolated for three months alone. And I it, not depressed talaga. Puwa ko. Ano pa isang bagay na inyakan ng gusto? Umiiyak ako kapag nagsislip ako. Kapag okay. nagsislip ako sa program ko. Yeah. Nagkakaroon na ang guilt and shame. Yeah. Um, kasi nga, may covenant na ako sa program ko. na bawal na talaga uminom. Uh, but of course, uh, hindi ko naman pwedeng gawin rason na tao lang ako. Pero nag- may sakit ako. So may mga times na I get to pick up the drink lalo na pag wala. Ka pa rin. Uh, hindi naman totally backslide dito. Kasi pag sinabing backslide, you're Nabalik there. Mo. Nandun ka na. So, uh, slip is, uh, for instance, six months kang clean. And then, you'll have a, a uh, you'll have yeah, six exactly. drinks, yes. you know what yes. I mean? The next day, I'd be crying like a baby. I'd be crying like a baby because una una I broke the, my covenant with my family, with God, and, and with yourself. myself. So, um, doon ako nag, nade-depress. When did you become closer to God? I was always close uh, with uh, our Creator. And, um, but nag sleep ka rin. <laughs> Pero, um, yes. hindi naman po. Um, I was always close with my creator. It's just that, um, even in my bad times, he was always there for me. Hindi niya ako pinabayaan. Okay, please, sir, your message to your kids. Can you pray? Um, to our kids, we miss you all. And um, we're not perfect parents, but we'll do our best. Aaron? No. Rock and roll! <laughs> <laughs> um, happy boy, I love you. Boy, I love you. And uh, Q, I'm very, very proud of you. You also have it. Very proud of you. Um, keep doing good. Uh, don't try too hard. We love you as you are. And of course, your Ali. final message to everyone. No. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Hindi ko lang naintindihan yan. Um, Galing ah. <laughs> Hindi ko lang naintindihan yan. Kasi kapag hindi happy yung wife ko, I get affected so much and it affects everything. Everything. So, um, it's not saying uh, you'll have to say yes all the time to your wife, right? But, you know, just be uh, considerate all the time and aware. I think awareness is key in everything, in a relationship, at work, um, and I think I also have to be more um, assertive uh, in a good way uh, with the things that I have to do for my family. Sure. All right, and with that, gusto ko pasalamatan for this uh, chance, this opportunity, and thank you for trusting me to share your lives with so, me. Tita, thank you, Tita. Uh, ano, magdinig lang ka ba si Kaitali? Eh? <laughs> Anytime.
Let's see, ha? Anytime, bakala ko magdiniinang ako sa kasal. Pero pwede rin. Pwede rin. Pero mas maganda yata sa kasal kasi mas malaki ang ibibigay ninyo. Mas yan na lang, no? Si Richie's Kitchen na ang bahala. Ay, oo nga. Mga kaibigan, let me thank my portion of sponsors. Of course, my dear friend, Richie Ang of Richie's Kitchen. Beauty Derm. Every Belena. Doc Rabs Chiropractic Wellness Clinic. Ness Acelia Salon for my hair and makeup. Gandang Rick Reyes. My good friend at the U.S. Chato Sugay Jimenez. And of course, Studio Manila. Mga kaibigan, huwag niyo pong kakalimutan mag-subscribe, like, comment, and press the bell button. Uh, again, I'd like to thank you both. Thank you so, so much, Jamie. And thank, thank you, you so much, Anak, Baron. Mm -hmm. And good luck sa iyong showbiz career. Not only sa showbiz career, you but to be Of course, I will be there to guide you. Thank you. Andito lang ako sa inyo, or anytime na kailangan ninyo ako, nandito lang ako. At syempre pa, maraming maraming salamat muli. At sa inyong mga kaibigan na patuloy sumusubaybay sa ating programa, TikTok with Aster Amoyo. Hanggang sa muli, <laughs> stay safe, everyone. Thank you.